Pog at Coney Island. Speaking Pog! Wait, what, Frank? Where'd you get the car? And the suit. <laughs> I stole them both. A uh, car from your wife, suit from your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's this? Probably drugs. Listen, I have rights, and I demand to see my lawyer before you press that small button on the side firmly. Press it. <laughs> and just because you see a black man driving in a nice car does not mean it's stolen. I stole that one. But... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, that was really good. Yo, it's me, Chris. The guy sees wearing this beautiful red hat. <laughs> How this guy with me? Hey, it's me, Chris, aka Achilles Bears, aka Woo! Built Different, aka Chubby Ren himself, the flesh of the guy your mom is always talking about. And today, we're gonna be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet. Let him know what it is. We're watching a movie. But what movie are we watching? You already know we're watching Man in Black 3! Man in Black! Wow! Wow! Hey, from my French, uh, from my French homies out there. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> But hey, you know who I will never say screw you to? The people on the Patreon. I would never say screw you guys. I would say love you guys. Hearts. And for those of you who subscribe to the channel, you guys get hearts and kisses also. But then we have those of you who are not subscribed to the channel. Now you're not getting hearts. And you're not getting kisses. You're not getting anything. Yeah, not for you. Not for you. Kiss from my fist. Bang! Right into your lips. And your lips will literally just explode upon impact of my fist and your skull will just turn into mushy, gushy, kind of like slimy jelly. Now, if you don't want your entire skeleton to be transformed into mushy, gushy jelly, simply subscribe to the channel right now and my fist will not be launched into your skull. Remember guys, hearts and kisses if you subscribe. Man, Black 3, you idiots, give it to him. Oh. <laughs> Heels, Boris. Boris, who's Boris? Oh, Boris is getting a cake, maybe? I'm assuming? Oh, why, why is that? Why is the cake so jiggly? Why is it making those sounds? Well, well, Boris the animal has a visitor. I guess one the every four The animal? Years is okay. It's a cake. I decide what it is. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> oh, all right. It's like some kind of cake. She's clean. Well, not clean, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, guys, take it easy. God damn. Boris the animal. You've got a visitor. It's just Boris. Oh. Oh, he's not all that much of an animal, actually. I'm a bit disappointed. Oh! Oh my god! Whoa! Ooh! Would you mind cutting this up for us? It's a special day. I'm a romantic like that. Hey, yo. I don't trust the jiggly cake. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Why is that? It'll ruin your figure. Ah! Whoa, what is that? It's a bug. Ah! Wait, oh, oh, shit. Wait, you hit him with that. Wait, so he could like talk to the bug man here? Wait, what the f Oh. oh god, that is actually disgusting. Whoa! Is that why they call him the animal? I I really don't know. Whoa! Oh my god, he can Whoa! Yeah, she kinda likes that. Yeah, she's kinda into the whole bug thing. You can't win, Boris. Mm, rather hot in here. Mind if I open a window? <laughs> yeah, that's kinda funny. Oh, oh damn! Whoa! Whoa! We did love the cake. Ah! Wow. Bad guys. All the time, they gotta kill their girl. Why? I don't know. Let's rewrite history. Shall we, Kay? What happened to his arm, though? I don't know. I thought he was like a bug thing, so he could just grow his arm back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. Okay, you know how you're on an airplane and the flight attendant asks you to turn your cell phone off? And you're like, I ain't turning my cell phone off. That don't have nothing to do with no damn airplane. Well, that's what happens. It gets up there, bounces around on the satellites, and blam! Just turn your damn cell phone off. Now you're gonna drive off a cliff tonight because your GPS don't work. Wait, what? what? Huh? Is that really a good idea? 
Should they be driving off cliffs? So what are you gonna say tonight? Uh, don't worry. No, I'm very worried. This is important. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Okay. Seriously. Whoa! Oh my god, that looks good. I worked with Zed for 40 years. He was a hell of an agent, and I have written a hell of a speech for him. People will be moved. Okay. Oh, Zed died. Yeah, seems like it. Amazing. No way they got the worms. No. Bagpipe worms? That is sick. I worked with Zed for over 40 years, and in all that time, he never invited me to dinner. He never asked me to his house to watch a game. He never shared a single detail of his personal life. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Here from our new chief, Agent O. Hi, Agent O! Oh. Oh. That was very moving. That was your eulogy? He was a good man. <laughs> <laughs> when I told the Phoenician Zyglot about Zed's passing, she said something that I'm going to repeat. Holy shit! Whoa! What a beautiful finish. What does that mean? That's just so Zed. Okay. Following up with that man, Agent K's was great. Yeah. God damn. And how did you get to be like you? Seriously, something happened, K. What happened? You know how I live such a happy life. How you live such a happy life? <laughs> I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answer to. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Your services are legendary. So says your father, Obadiah. You were in Lunar Max. There is no prison that can hold me. All right. Cool for you. <laughs> yes. I'm going back in time to kill a man before he takes my arm. Oh. We're getting the arm origin story. Yeah, the arm origin story. Ooh, man. What oh. the? Oh, from the planet. Damn. And Bob here is a clear oh. violent. Oh, the blobfish. <laughs> oh. Foodstuffs. That is an earth fish, very traditional in China. That is not an earth fish, bro. Okay, come on, I got larvae to feed. <coughs> Who's the spiky ball before Obu? Nobody. <coughs> Who's it for? I He's beating the shit out of him with a baby alien. So if you don't like getting fish slapped, I'm gonna need you to keep to our agreements. Earth people get earth fish, real earth fish. On behalf of my pathetic self and worthless children, <laughs> Don't nobody want none of your nasty ass noodles, Wu. You're a piece of shit, Wu. I'm going to be here for a while. Oh, God. You're a piece of I shit. I love K, man. Table one has an order to thing. Table three over there just drank his fourth cup of duck sauce. Dude, just drinking the duck sauce? Maybe he likes duck sauce, bro. Crashed ship from this morning was stolen from. Lunar Max Prison. Boris the Animal. How did you know? He always had a taste for spiky bullpup. Give us a minute, will you, Chief? Oh. Oh. Damn. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa! Oh, damn! Oh, shit, yeah, get his ass! Oh, damn! Oh, holy shit! Dude, he's flattened his head. Oh, he's like an alien thing. He flattened whatever was in there. <gasps> Woo! Woo is dead. What? What? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so good. I didn't think she was an alien. No. Oh, that is so cool! Monster! No, mustard in the nose! <gasps> no! Ew! Boris the animal. It's just Boris. You haven't changed very much. I uh, see the arm I shot off is still shot off. <laughs> I wanted the pleasure of killing you. You okay? Oh, oh shit! Where the hell have you been? Fishing! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, nice. 
eyes. You don't know it, Kay, but you're already dead. All right, that's pretty freaky uh, and ominous. Yeah, thanks for the ominous uh, tidbit there. Okay, you know your kid won the goldfish in that little baggie from the school fair and you didn't want that nasty thing in your house, so you told your kid it ran away, but what you really did was flush it down the toilet? This is what happens, okay? See what I'm talking about? Don't lie to your kids. <laughs> <laughs> I like he's just teaching them lessons. Yeah, don't lie to your children. Dad, I am getting too old for this. I can only imagine how you feel. <laughs> oh, shit. What happened between Boris and Kay? Kay imprisoned Boris. He put up the Arknet. He protected the Earth from the Boglodites. He did his job. You know, that's not what okay. I meant. So you two go way back, huh? Yeah, that's classified. Ooh. Whoa. Nice, Agent J. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Oh, shit. Take the rest of the night off. I'm really intrigued. Yeah, what happened there? Is that Frank? Yo, he's got a giant picture of Frank? That's sick. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I got some secret cases of my own I'm working on. I hate to tear you away from your video game. You know the most destructive force in the universe? Sugar. <laughs> Sugar. I promise you the secrets of the universe, nothing more. So what, are some secrets out there that the universe don't know about? Huh. That must suck, man. You just go home and play video games when you get out in the streets blasting aliens. Right? Oh, sick. He's just gonna wait. Alright, wait for them to knock and blast them. Wait, what? What the hell? Oh, so he did use the time travel thing. Yeah, that he mentioned before. That's what he meant. You're already dead. Oh, shit. Wow, so he actually succeeds. Can I help you? Kay? 5K? I'm sorry, is that chocolate milk? I'm so sorry, I don't know what... We're all just sipping on someone else's chocolate milk? Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, if that ain't the most bizarrest thing ever, guy knocks on your door and takes your chocolate milk? What the? Kay, get in yet? Who? Who the hell are you? Very funny, Agent J. Wait, what? Whoa, what? Jay, everything you told me yesterday, you were right as rain. Thank God for that 10 hour stakeout. Uh, who are you? Exactly. <laughs> today. Like this great weight has been lifted. I mean, I've had these anger issues my entire life, but now I can see I was just mad at myself and my stepmom. Sir, I'm going to need you. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the little men's in black room, then we'll go find those morons from Poxathera. Lunch is on me. Oh, <laughs> okay. hey, yo! Who was that? Double A? Double, Double A! a. Uh, I'm gonna need you to go get me some chocolate milk, all right? Just a really big glass. And have you seen Kay? Did he call in sick or anything? Who's Kay? What's with the chocolate milk? Yeah, what's with the chocolate milk obsession all of a sudden? I'm looking for Kay, older gentleman. 110, maybe 111 years. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis thing happened with him. He smiles <laughs> like this. <laughs> That's Kay, who's been dead for over 40 years. Okay, see, the prerequisite for a joke is that it be funny. It's never been funny. Oh, oh shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Chocolate milk relieves temporal fracture headaches. What's a temporal? Oh, cool. If Boris could work out how to time jump, he, he could seriously change the course of history. Attention. Earth oh, shit. Engaged. Inbound mm. hostile warships entering solar system. Boglodite markings and language detected. Ah, here we go. This is a Boglodite, but they're extinct. Apparently not. Catastrophic Earth attack imminent. Oh, shit. You have to find Jeffrey Price. He's Obadiah's son. Let's hope the little squirt hasn't skipped town. <laughs> Get out of business. Dude, that's so good. Hi, how can I help you? We're having an amazing sale on batteries. Whoa, okay, we got other stuff like headphones, adapter. <laughs> Animal time jump. I want to know when and where you sent him. What, you think I keep like a logbook? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. On July 15th, Boris killed an alien, Roman the Fabulist, at Coney Island. And you're going to get there first and be waiting for him? Dude, they should give you like two black suits. My man, for real? <laughs> Two black suits. <laughs> this is the real deal. Time jump gear. We gotta get high. Hey, no. 
No, I mean really high. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you need some form of like velocity. Uh, hey, man! Speed, you know? Here. Somebody's gonna jump? That's what I think, at least. That's what I'm assuming. Okay. Why else would you go high? You know the rules of time jumps, right? For the like, literally, literally, literally the first thing I think when I go high is not jump. No, but literally time jump. Oh. Yeah. Now, take these, because it gets pretty windy on the way down. The way down? Time jump. See? Oh. Feet off the ground. Yeah, break the laser line? No, don't break it. Not, I mean, when I'm fast enough. Sounds good. Wait, do I break what? the laser line or do I not break the laser line? Do not lose that time device or you will be stuck. In 1969, wasn't the best time for your people. <laughs> oh, God. Holy sh- just like in the middle of an alien invasion? No! Holy shit! What the f- Wait, wh 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 <laughs> why are we dinosaurs? Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa! Oh wait, that is scary as hell. Yo, My I, god. I'm telling you for real, if that were me, they gotta make me a whole new suit. <laughs> Yo, for real, bro. That suit is done. Nah, man. That suit full of shit, bro. <laughs> Straight up, man. God damn. Do me a favor, all right? Just be careful with the luggage. Paid a lot of money for that luggage. We'll take very good care of it. Oh! Nice. Here you go, sir. Just uh, call down when you need it. Oh, there's more luggage in the trunk. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be in your room, sir. Just go ahead. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, who is that? <laughs> Yo, that was easy. Wow. Is that a bugsicle? A bugsicle? That looks kind of cool. The bugmobile. If you want to keep that, I wouldn't. Make love, not war. I prefer to do both. <laughs> oh. Oh, yo, fair enough. All right, man. Oh, they got a pug at Coney Island. Speaking pug. Wait, what, break? Where'd you get the car? And the suit. <laughs> I stole them both. A uh, car from your wife, suit from your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's this? Probably drugs. Listen, I have rights, and I demand to see my lawyer before you press that small button on the side firmly. Press it. <laughs> <laughs> and just because you see a black man driving in a nice car does not mean it's stolen. I stole that one. But... <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, that was really good. Where is the Arcanon? You are too late. He is going to give the humans the Arcnet. Whoa! Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! In the noggin! I mean, not hard to miss, honestly, but. Yeah, dude got brained! We'll take it from here. K! K! <laughs> <laughs> Earth. I knew bail. Ew! Kill him. Whoa, frog aliens? Whoa. How do you know my name? Because I called you K. No, I call uh, everybody K. It's kind of my, my thing. Hey, what up, K? <laughs> oh, man, this coffee tastes like dirt. What do you expect? It's just ground this morning. Oh? No, I call ladies O. Oh. To me, O is feminine, K is masculine. <laughs> Wait, what the f I'm like, okay. <laughs> Yo, that was no. so sick. Any casual. <laughs> when you see bars tomorrow, K, kill him. Do not Six. arrest him. Kill him. Nine. Four. I'm telling you, this thing is terrifying. Yeah, man. Bad enough you're put in the tube, but they spin you, the they tube? They spin the shit out of you, bro? Nah.
We don't I lose my memories and I throw up. Uh-uh. 25 years from now, you're going to recruit me. And 14 years after that, the guy you didn't let me kill today at Coney Island, he escapes from prison and jumps back in the past and unleashes a full-scale invasion of Earth. We had about 19 hours to catch him and kill him. So really, we need to go right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's actually really good playing a young Yo, kid. Yo, yeah, he has the mannerisms and everything. Agent K, what's he still doing here? Well, I might have cooked him for too long. Thought I'd better walk him out. I put my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, hey, how old are you? 29. Oof. Wow. He has some city miles on you. <laughs> I'm starting to understand that <laughs> we don't talk. <laughs> I was just about to tell you to screw off. Hey, Slick, you bold in the future? Absolutely, I might be league champ three years running. Oh, well, let's see it. <laughs> Wait, what? We don't have a lot of time for this. You really need to tell him something. I'll tell him this. All right, you're ahead. Wait, hey. Oh, no. And I will make sure that you walk funny for the first time you are miserable. <laughs> oh. Tough spare, God. Slick. I swear I'll kill both these. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Well, we're on the right track. Just the wrong train. If you had any secrets, damn. Yes, we spilled them. We're such an ungainly species. They really thrived here on Earth. Yeah, I was an agent for three years before I realized all models were aliens. I found out the hard way. <laughs> hey, yo! You know what? I'm not surprised. Dude, we don't have a lot of Janice time. Janice Joplin. All models are aliens. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Warhol. You like talking real slow. We got important stuff to do, and I got a planet to save. Oh, you're just stressing. Shit. Everything about you upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to blow my cover? Agent W, your cover is safe. Whoa, Andy Warhol is one of us? Safe. Yeah, your mind. <laughs> I'm sort of ideas. I'm painting soup cans and bananas, for Christ's sakes. Actually, Mr. Warhol, I got <laughs> your work. Oh, oh, thank you. Who's the dumbass? Oh my God. Whoa! Hey, how about a little professional courtesy here? What's that dumbass? Say it again. You want me to? I dare you. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Agent K, why don't you see what information you can get from Agent W, and I'll go case the perimeter. That work for everybody? Yeah, go do that. All yeah, right, how about that? Oh, cute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's here? Well, here is a relative term. He's a fifth dimensional being. They can live in and visualize an infinite set of time-space probabilities simultaneously. Why? What? what? What is it? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta fake my death. Okay. I, I can't listen to sitar music anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, eighteen. No, no, no. Your other watch, the one your father gave you. How do you know about my father's watch? Such an infinitesimally small chance for success. Okay. Griffin, right? Okay, we're here because of Boris the animal. Correct. We believe he may be coming. Come to kill me. Yes, he'll be here in two minutes. Unless, of course, we're in the possible future where he made all the lights on Bowery and got here early and is just about to discharge a weapon from the doorway, in which case we're all dead in two seconds. Oh, sick. Lovely. Ah, good. That was a close one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have chocolate milk this morning? Yes. Cindy. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. damn. Quick, quick. Got him. <laughs> Do the laugh still. <laughs> My granddaddy always said, if you got a problem that you can't solve, it helps to get out of your head. Pie, it's good. Oh. oh, we've been doing smart stuff. We've been following clues, doing real police work. It might be time we do something stupid. <laughs> Pie don't work unless you let it. I'm gonna I'm I'm let it. When you say we don't talk, right? You go ahead. Ask me any question, anything you want. Oh shit. As long as it doesn't have to do with the case. I'm just. Let her rip. What's up with you and O? Me and O? <laughs> yeah, you and O. All right, all right. I was assigned to keep tabs on a musician, Mick Jagger. He was in this British band, Rolling Stones. And Rings a bell. We believed he was on the planet to breed with Earth women. And that's when I met O. Just He's an alien? I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. And we find ourselves in this pub. Warm beer and the <laughs> worst food you ever ate. We just played darts. Neither of us wanted to leave. All right, that was kind of sweet. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Come on, what about you, Slick? In the future, you got yourself a girl? I got you. <laughs> Fuck. 
freaking New York Mets. Total losers. The Arcanon said it's amazing. It's a miracle. I'll see you at the game. I know where he is. Told you to trust the pie. Oh, shit. Trust the pie, baby. It's always about the pie. Woo! The big boys! Yo. So that's what it means, like, a fifth dimensional being. He could just see shit. I guess so. Oh, he could show it, too? Whoa. That is sick. This is amazing. It's a gigantic pain in the ass. But it has its moments. I lost my planet. I don't want you to lose yours. It'll take a miracle, but if you pull this off, you'll be my new favorite moment in human history. Oh, sick. Oh, dear. I forgot to see this one coming. Yeah! Oh, shit. Whoa. Hey, yo. Yeah, these in the future? No. That's sick! Wait, that's actually cool. Yo, I like this. Woo! Yo, that's kind of cool. Damn! In the future, we ever do the Texas Two-Step? Yes, sir! Texas Two-Step! Yo, let's show them the Texas Two-Step, baby. Bugmobile. Yo! Yeah, Bugmobile's really dead. Oh, what did you get? It's in the surprise box. You get like a little toy? <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's so pissed. You pathetic waste of bugnetite flesh. I'd kill you right now if I didn't value my own life. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> you still have the arc net? When you're being hunted by Boris the animal, you get good at hiding things. Ew! Put it back on! Bro! He is the Arknet? Dude, what the hell? Who knew you could be bolder than bald? He's super bald. Look at that. We pull this off, fix things the way they were. O and I are... We... Wise man once told me, don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Mm -hmm. that. Three trespassers, no IDs, but they've got weapons, sir. Some kind I've never seen before. And how are they gonna get Getting it caught is the way to get in? This man came here from the future to protect me. So I can attach a shield to the top of that rocket and save the world. Need your help to do that. Take him to the brig. You slipping, Griff. <laughs> <laughs> I may. Oh. I'll take the prisoners. Sir, are you dismissed? Holy shit, just brain blasted him. Uh, what did Griff show you back there? He showed me how important you are. You and your partner. All right, sick. So I'm guessing he has to show him. See why I recruited you. Good man. Man, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. Oh. Oh shit. I'll take this one. You might want to get a pedicure if you get a second. <laughs> Whoa. Lift off. <laughs> All right, Boris. You're one of them funny guys. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Boris the biker. Boris the biker. Holy Whoa! Shit, dude, he can really move. Yo, he's athletic. Whoa! Oh my god. He's all bug. Hey! Boris the animal! Oh, no. It's just Boris. Oh, ew. I don't like the way his eye things open up. He's gonna hit him with the bug shit? Oh, he's taking the bug shit! Holy shit! Whoa. You're gonna lose. Let's agree to disagree. Oh, that was smart. Hey! Where's the animal? Now he knows how to dodge. Yeah, he's kind of got it now. That's not possible. 
Let's agree to disagree. Oh, oh no. damn, he punched his bug ass. Oh, wait, he's dropping. Can he live that? I don't know. Like, he's an alien, so I don't know what he could live. There we go. Oh, he's still alive. I was thinking that was enough to kill him. Oh, that is okay. enough now. Yeah, he's Holy dead. Holy shit. Bingo. Man, that is some next level stuff. Woo! There we go. Thank you. I see you around, Kay. Look out! Oh, shit. Go ahead. Arrest me. Whoa! What shit. in the hell? Wow, I did not know there was more alien behind that. Holy shit, he was ugly. That was some freaky shit. Daddy! Daddy! Hey, my name's Kay. What's your name? James. James? That's a nice name. Oh, shit. Where's my dad? What do you got there? What is that? My dad gave it to me. We talked a lot. Oh. Where's my daddy? He wanted me to stay here and take care of his best pal. Oh, shit, man. If you look right here, I will tell you the only thing you ever need to know. Your daddy is a hero. And that's why he struggled so hard to remember what happened to his father. Yeah, he got neuralized. Wow, man. Holy shit. No invasion, baby. Invasion free, baby. No aliens. You're late. Uh, sorry, lost track of time. <laughs> nice. And really, I just want to say thank you. Oh, man. Oh. It's been my privilege. Oh, no! Dude, that's, that's so sweet. Holy shit. We just finished watching uh, Men in Black 3, and um, I wasn't actually ready for uh, them to really bring that into the ending. It's so interesting, because they foreshadowed it in the beginning, when they were talking about it, when they were talking about their fathers. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. That was pretty interesting. But then again, I, I just, like, I didn't, I just didn't see it coming. I guess that was it. I don't know. Yeah, that... The reason why he was able to remember it all was because he was there that day. Yeah. In that period of time. He was, he was just waiting, I guess, in that van there for his dad mm -hmm. to come back and be so like... So they could watch the, um, the moon take, landing kind of thing. Yeah, wait, watch the, the take off. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I didn't... I, I just thought it was really, like, sweet as hell. You know, that the him finding Jay and... the in kind of like recruiting wasn't a chance at all. No, it was like all predetermined, essentially. Yeah, it was predetermined that he would like take care of him, in a yeah, sense. Yeah, he would just wait for the chance to go and take care of him. Yeah, and I, I think that was sweet, and I, I love that, just like their, their oh, moment. Oh, God, when they're like in the, in the diner together. And he just says, you know, thank you, and it's like, it's been my privilege. It's like... Oh, you know, dude, man, like, I don't know why that hit so goddamn hard, dude. Holy shit. Dude, that was such a beautiful moment, man, honestly. Yeah. Like, my yeah, God, yeah, uh, 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 you know? That was good. I just overall it was a really good movie, and I like how they actually in incorporated uh, time travel. Yeah, most times when they incorporate time travel into a film, it gets kind of like um, a little bit, over. It's a bit messy, you know. It could be a little bit too much. But they, the, the, the time thing travel is they, didn't, they didn't overcomplicate it. No, they, it was like time tra travel made very simple, and I thought it was interesting also when they used Griff. Uh, Griffin to kind of like show that the multiple um, outcomes and just certain uh, I thought, scenarios and whatnot. I thought that was actually true to show like, yeah, there are going to be consequences to certain actions, you know, and see where things are going. Yeah. Because that's the thing. I think Griff kind of kept the story and, and, and like it, it allowed, on track. It, it allowed the time travel to not get too crazy in terms of multi, multi dimensions and whatnot. Yeah. And so I kind of think that's what they use Griff to just simplify everything so they never had to have that issue ever occur. Yeah, because like you said, with time travel, the biggest problem is that kind of like stories kind of have like they're going on this path and because of that time travel element things just start going a little too all over the place things can go a little crazy if yeah. you're not careful yeah but this one like stayed on track it really stick to the story i, I appreciated that yeah. it was actually really good um 
my god, what's the actor's name that played younger K? I actually don't know his name. Dude, he played he played Thanos. Oh, uh, something Brolin, right? Josh Brolin. Jo- Josh Brolin, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, I, that, oh it was him. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty I, sure it was him. It looks like him. I guess so. I don't know. I, but like, he did a great job. It was just like the mannerisms, the voice. Everything. Even the look in his face the whole time. Yeah, he had that deadpan kind of yeah. look and everything going on. Yeah, it was actually solid. It's incredible that they found someone who could give a performance that was very similar to yeah, Tommy Jones. Like, that, was, that was scary as hell. It, it was really impressive. Yeah, I liked it a lot. And that's what really helped the film to work. Oh, God. Yeah, you know, getting an actor who just nailed that kind of like uh, personification. Yeah, he nailed it. And, it, and the, the best thing is that it didn't feel like an, an impersonation. No, you know, it, it felt very, it, it felt very natural and it felt very good. Yeah, it didn't feel jarring at all for me. Like no. I, I was pretty on board. I was like, okay, that's that okay. was the bizarre thing, you know, that, that it felt as yeah. good as it was. Yeah, Boris the animal's an interesting villain too, dude. That dude with Boris the, was cool. <laughs> yeah, he had the little thing in his hand, little alien, but he's like all bug, I guess. Ah, bro, the end, hell he is. In the end, when he showed his true format, holy shit, dude, that was kind of freaky, man. I'm glad he died. Dude. I'm glad they blasted him before we could see the whole thing, true. and then future him got him, like just incinerated beyond recognition. That, that was fun. That was kind of sick. I liked that a lot. I don't know, just all in all, like, dude, I thought it was a wonderful movie. Like, yeah. honestly, just like, just that, like. That aspect at the end of it being his father that was there on that day and him being there and everything. I, I, it kind of just brings I, the whole story of the trilogy all together, right? Full circle. It, it comes in all for a circle. Yeah, kind of it, it kind of just makes sense of the entire story. Yeah. And like I said before, that it was never a chance that he went and met him. No. It, it, that's just beautiful, actually. Like, I really like, I, I, I kind of like that. that. It's, it, it's as if, like, uh, he was always going to recruit him. He was just waiting. It was meant to be, in yeah. a sense. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Man, I don't know. Again, like just you know solid. What? Honestly, yeah, I'll give it I'll give it to it. It's actually a solid trilogy. I enjoyed every film. I enjoyed them all. Yeah, it, it just it ends on a note where it's just like, I'm satisfied as shit. All we do, we're left on with K and J again. Partners. Yeah. Just doing their thing. And I love that yep. so much. They leave it open-ended. If they want to do another, which I don't think they probably will. I, I don't see how you, I, I don't. I feel like Tommy Lee Jones is very old right now, and I think it, it would be hard for him to go and do yeah, this. Yeah, do I, something, I, do a film like this again. Would yeah, be pretty hard. Yeah. Even Will Smith, I feel like uh, Will Smith could do it. But Will Smith could do it, but it's just like without Tommy Lee Jones, I wouldn't want to have Will Smith again. I, I just the two of them, that dynamic is well, so it's like good. We didn't have Tommy Lee Jones for a lot of this, though. You know, to be to be clear, but it's still it was still K's persona, persona. You know, yeah, which is very like I it, think it's, it's just it's, like the, the most important thing is J and K. Yeah, the two of them together is perfect. J and anyone else, I wouldn't want to see it. Oh no, I think they could do it with him trying to find his next partner or something. You know, I'll find his uh, the, the true. Uh, well, dude, he, K's got to retire at some point, dude. Like yeah. the, I don't know, I don't know how they would do it. I wouldn't mind it though. It would no. be interesting because Jay would take K's place essentially. Yeah. So it would be a very interesting, again, full circle kind of thing, right? Yeah. Mm, maybe not that bad, actually. Uh, hmm. it, it just is hard because it uh, all let's depends. Just, let's just cut this. Okay, guys. Whatever, guys. If you guys, okay, here's the thing. If we're gonna talk a lot. More we're gonna about talk this. more about this in the podcast in the Men in Black uh, podcast that we're gonna do. And, so excited! And oh also, my God. we're gonna rank the films in there too. So if you want to know which ones we enjoyed the the most out of like whatever you know, yeah, you'll see it there. So tune in on Wednesday and you'll see that shit. All right, guys. Yep. So adios. We'll see you guys in the next one. We're gonna peace that out like Boris the animal. Woo! Oh, 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 oh.